Hello future scientists! In Unit 2, Mixing Materials, we have learned that materials can be solids, liquids, or gases, and know how the properties of solids and liquids are different. Through this lesson, you sorted materials into groups, the groups of solid, liquid, and gases by making observations. And you also explain how you stayed safe in practical work. Now, let's complete workbook page 17, Solids, Liquids, and Gases. This worksheet is about focus, means that these questions help you to remember the basics. Okay, so let's start. Number one, look at all the things in the picture. Label the things as solid, a liquid, or a gas. The first one, a bottled water, is liquid. Number two, this trunk of a tree is, okay, we will label it as solid. Number three, pond is a small body of water, so this is liquid. Number four, a balloon is a gas. Number five, bubble is an example of gas, okay? And these rocks are solid. Now, number seven, this is a puddle, a small pool of liquid, especially of rainwater on the ground. So this is liquid. Number eight, slide is uh, usually made of metal, plastic, or fiberglass. Slide also is an example of solid. Workbook page 18. It is an application of what you have learned about sorting materials. When we sort, we group or classify objects together with similar properties. Now, let's practice. So, these questions help you to become more confident in using what you have learned. We will sort these materials into solid, liquid, and gas groups, and then add another material to each group. Okay, this brick will go to the solid group. Shampoo is mostly water, so it is a liquid. Remember, a liquid is a state of matter that has a definite volume but no fixed shape. In other words, a liquid, like this uh, shampoo bottle, takes the shape of its container. Also, oil is a liquid. How about rice? Is it solid, liquid, or gas? Solid is any object that maintains its individual shape or is rigid. Now, when rice is poured in a container like a cooking pot, numerous rice particles are poured, but rice is still a solid as the individual rice grain maintains its shape. So, rice is solid. Oxygen is a gas, so we will put it here. As a property of gases, having no shape and volume, oxygen do not have a fixed shape or volume. It flows from areas of higher to lower concentrations. Hence, for these reasons, oxygen remains as gas. Air is the invisible mixture of gases that surrounds us. So, air contains important substances such as oxygen and nitrogen that most of us need to survive, right? We already know that we will group it here. Air is in this gas group. Now, you can think of other materials that is in a solid, liquid, and gas group. For solid, a table is very rigid and cannot be compressed. It has the characteristics of a solid with a definite shape and volume. I have uh, written here milk. It is an example of liquid because it has no shape. It takes the shape of the container. It has no volume, so it takes the volume of the, the container, the packaging, or the pack, or the bottle in which it is kept. For the gas group, okay, I have here a balloon. Why balloon? Because, you know, the actual balloon is a solid, but the air inside is a gas. Now, the balloon floats because it is filled with helium, a type of gas. Now, in your workbook page 19, challenge. Okay, these questions will make you think deeply. Number three, use these words to finish the sentences. Liquid, solid. In letter A, a blank stays the same shape unless it is compressed, stretched, twisted, or bent. So which state of matter is that? It is a solid. Solid stays the same shape. Okay, unless it is compressed, stretched, twisted, or bent. Letter B, a blank changes shape easily. It's liquid. A liquid changes shape easily. Now, use these words to finish the sentences carbon dioxide, solid, gases, oxygen, nitrogen, liquid. Letter C, humans breathe a gas called 
oxygen. That is correct. Letter D, vinegar is a, what do you think? Yes, it's a liquid. How about letter E? Bicarbonate of soda is what? A blank. Okay, it's a solid. Okay, uh, also known as baking soda. Now, bicarbonate of soda or baking soda is an ingredient used for cooking or household cleaning and also used to treat acid in digestion and heartburn. Letter F, mixing vinegar and bicarbonate of soda makes a gas called, we did this with our experiment, carbon dioxide. Remember, a carbon dioxide is a gas without color or odor. Okay, it is colorless, it is odorless, that is made up of carbon and oxygen. Letter G, air is a mixture of gases. It's a mixture of gases. Letter H, most of the air is a gas called, okay, nitrogen. It is a gas that makes up much of the air in the Earth's atmosphere. I hope that all questions are easy and if you can answer this, you are ready to move on to the next unit. Thank you very much for a work well done.